Welcome to part three of building a Pokemon card in React Native. In part two, we styled our card component to resemble an actual card. In this video, our focus shifts to the card component's content. Continuing from where we left off, let's move on to step seven. In app.js, define the properties of the Pokemon that need to be rendered in the card component. For example, Let's consider Charmander. We have name set to Charmander, image, which we require from assets slash charmander.png. The Pokemon type is fire. HP is 39. It has a few moves like scratch, ember, etc., And its weakness is water and rock type Pokemon. Once again, you can find this data on my GitHub repo, or you can pause the video to create this. Step seven, add all these properties as props to the Pokemon card component using the spread operator. So Pokemon card, curly braces, we spread Charmander data. Step eight in Pokemon card.js, destructure the properties from the component props. We have name, image, type, HP, moves, and weaknesses. The same properties in our Charmander data object. Next, render all the props using the appropriate core components from React Native. Now, if you think about it, our card component will have five different blocks. Block one is for name and HP. Block two is for the image. Block three is the Pokemon type. Block four is moves and block five is weaknesses. Let's add the JSX for these five blocks. So step nine, we start with block one. It is a view with name and HP text nested inside. Step 10, focus on the second block. It is a straightforward image component. Import it from React Native. Invoke the component and specify the image prop as the source. Also add an accessibility label for best practice. It's going to be name followed by the text Pokemon. Step 11, focus on the third block where we display the Pokemon type. So view component, text component, and we bind type. Step 12, focus on the fourth block where we display a list of comma separated moves. So view component, text component, moves, and we're going to add moves.join comma separation. Step 13, focus on the fifth and final block where we display a list of comma separated weaknesses. I'm going to copy the moves block, call this weakness, and we do a weaknesses.join with comma separation. With these blocks, our component structure is now complete. Let's save the file and preview the UI. You might notice that the image appears too large. We'll address that shortly, but for now, let's comment it out to make sure other props are rendering correctly. Take a look at the UI, and you will now see the remaining content displayed. Name, HP, type, moves, and weakness. This concludes part three. In the next video, we will dive into styling the content within this card component.